What's going on, everybody? No. Stop! Dale! Why, why, why are the visual effects not done? It's a metal arm! It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache! I'll do it myself. Well, that was weird. Anyway, guys, as I was saying in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create Cable, the Josh Brolin version from Deadpool 2, using the in-game customizer. So, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so first off, let's go into appearance. We're going to go to hair, and we're going to find, I think it's called the flat top. Oh, no, short top. There we go. And you want to go with this color right here. Then once you've done that, you want to go to head, and here's the thing about the head. So obviously we can't have the glowing eye that Cable has in the comics and the movie and stuff like that. But if you watch to the very end of the trailer, you will see he doesn't actually have it. So I found a head that I think works with that design more than the uh, glowing eye. Because if we can't use it, we've got to find a better alternative. And personally, I think Stakar's head works quite nicely, which of course is included with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 D DLC. And yeah, I think that looks really good because of the grey eyebrows and everything. And yeah, I mean, if you guys don't want to use that, that's totally fine. You can go with something else if you want to, but I really like that. I think it brings it all together. Right, so once you've done that, you want to go to Attachments and you want to choose this piece right here, Ego's Attachment. This thing is brilliant because not only can you have this attachment, but for some reason, you can also attach a cape to it as well. And we're going to give him like a right shoulder cape because it looks really cool and very accurate to what you see in the movie. So we're going to go with that. Then for the hands, just make them black because he was wearing black gloves. And for the body, we're going to go all the way to the bottom here until we find Winter Soldiers. I went through a lot of different bodies, seeing which ones work the best. I think Winter Soldiers is the coolest, so that's one I'm going to go with. And for the arms, you want to go all the way to the top here until you find Electro 2099s. Then you want to change the right arm to Wiccans, which is this one right here. Unfortunately, it's not completely black like the rest of the outfit. It's got a bit of a grey tint to it, but you can't really help that. Hopefully, one of the DLC pieces that's ad added later on maybe can replace this one but for now this is what we have to use but it's a tiny gripe so it doesn't really bother me now once you've done that you want to go to hips you want to make them egos which are down here somewhere there they are and then for the legs you also want to make them egos as well because egos legs and hips just look so cool on this design and the last piece for the appearance really brings the whole design together. I think it makes it look really, really cool. So we're not going to use this one, but this one. And you're going to make it dark brown. And look at that. That just looks so awesome. I love this creation. It might actually be one of my favorites to date. It just looks really, really accurate to what you see in the film. Now then, on to weapons. So, for guns, you can pretty much give him whatever gun you want. He uses a lot in the trailer, so, you know, you could give him this, or this, or this one. I'm gonna give him this one, because I think that looks really, really cool. And as for the color, you usually have the guns, you know, like this color for LEGO, but they look very black in the movie, so I'm gonna go with this one. I think that looks really, really cool. Alright, so now on to the abilities. So, I'm not going to, you know, base this character's abilities on what he has in the comics, because usually with movies nowadays, comic book movies especially, when they take um, material from, like, the source, they change it. You know, they change the costume, they change the powers and things like that. So, you know... We can't really expect them to have every single part of the character in Deadpool 2. He might be a bit different, so I want to get it right. So what I'm doing is basically adding the abilities that we see in the trailer. Nothing more. Just so it feels a bit more like the Josh Brolin version of Cable rather than a skin of classic Cable. Alright, so I think we'll give him a grapple because, you know, the outfit he's wearing, I'm pretty sure he's got a grapple. Uh, techno access, definitely. Crack Lego walls, I'm sure that arm could do some damage. Deflect, I don't even know if that works, but we'll have it anyway. Uh, we'll have Fix It, Super Strength. Uh, we'll have... I mean, does he manipulate time? I mean, the thing is, you've got to kind of work it out. <laughs> when you look at the trailer, how does Cable from the future get to Deadpool in modern day? Obviously, he time travels. So I would feel like Portal Create and Teleport, they work great. But time manipulation, is he really manipulating time? He's more going backwards and forwards. He's not really changing time uh, by... Well, actually, no, you know what, we'll, we'll just put it on. We'll put it on, because he's a time-based character that can time travel, so I think it works to have time manipulation. I'm not going to show it in this video anyway, but it's just, just for show, basically. So we've got super strength, time manipulation, portal create, teleport, and we'll have tracking as well. Nice. All right, now then, on tap square, we'll have... Uh, well, here's the thing, okay, there's... 
a, a move he does in the trailer. There's like this guy shooting at him, and it looks like he blocks the attacks with his arm, and you know the bullets are bouncing off his arm. But actually, what's happening is there's like a, a mini force field around his arm, and I thought that was really cool. And I kind of wanted to make a reference to it with these abilities. So if we go a force field and we toggle it, and we go with this one right here, it kind of looks like that force field. So that's kind of cool. But the thing is, if I do do that, he won't have melee combat. And I kind of want him to have melee combat because he fights a lot. So I'll just show you guys that just because it's another option. So I'm not going to show it in the actual video, but there it is there. In the gameplay, I mean. But we'll turn that off. And we'll go with we'll go with tap square be fighting. Uh, hold square, I think we'll leave that one alone. Uh, actually... Should he be able to throw his gun? Mm, yeah, why not? And then it, like, you know, he can throw his gun, he can shoot his gun. It just kind of makes him a bit more useful, you know? And then with tap circle, we're going to go to bolts. Bolt origin as a weapon. Bolt style four. Uh, bolt color orange, this one right here. That's the one I usually go with for guns. And then for the bolt damage type, just make it heat bolts. And for the bolt target, and yeah, just put that on as well. Because we're not going to have anything on hold circle. There's nothing really here that fits the character. So we'll just have a gun, punching, and yeah, I think that'll work quite nicely. And throwing the gun as well. All right, now then, on to double tap X. You see there's a scene in the trailer where he jumps quite high in the air. It's not like a Hulk jump, but it's a high jump. And I think it'd be cool to give him a double jump. And maybe, just so we can get around the map a bit easier, a hyper jump. I know you don't see him jump ridiculously high in the air but it's a high jump it's not a human jump so i think a hyper jump doesn't seem crazy to add to the character so i think we'll add that nice all right now then on to passive traits so for the health icon we'll go with this as a reference to his eye because it's it's not there uh we'll go with standard health type we'll go with voice two we'll go with movement speed default and then for the target reticle we'll also go with this one as well because it reminds me of his eye all right, nice. So we've done the appearance, the abilities, the passive traits, the weapons. Now we just need to name them and choose a background image. So it should already be there for me because I've already made them before. There it is. Cable. Nice. Awesome. And then for the background image, obviously, we're going to go with the future, which is 2099. And look at that. Looking really, really cool. I can't wait to play as this guy. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Cable into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made cable made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Looking extremely cool. Probably get a better look over here. There we go. Awesome. I absolutely love this design. I can't, I can't praise it enough. I mean, it is honestly one of my favorite designs I've made. Um, and I've made a lot of characters in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, and a lot that I've been, you know just not happy with some of them look okay some of them look really good and it just sometimes you have the pieces available to be able to recreate a character that isn't in the game and other times you know you just kind of got to make do with what you have but with this version of cable i think i've done a pretty good job i think he looks almost official um, not to sound big-headed, but I'm just really happy with it, and I'm just glad I can show it with you guys. So anyway, let's go fight some crime and everything. We can see here he's got these attacks, so he can punch, which is awesome. He does a lot of punching in that trailer, so I figured, you know, better to give him that than nothing. He can also throw his gun, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know why I added that, I just like it. And he can also shoot his gun and target with it as well, which is awesome. All right, so let's go fight some crime, like I just said. Should be some bad guys over here. There they are. Nice. And I'm teaming up with Deadpool, obviously. Wouldn't team up with anyone else. Although, from the trailer, it seems like Cable's after Deadpool? Like, maybe they're not on best of terms at the moment? I don't know. Be interesting to see how that plays out. I can't wait for the movie, though. It looks amazing. Dare I say it, it looks maybe better than the first one. And I love the first Deadpool. I think it's an amazing movie. Um, but the second one looks like there's so much more going on. Like it's a bigger scale and there's a lot of characters in it and stuff. It just, it looks like a blast. I can't wait to watch it. And speaking of trailers, just before I recorded this video, I couldn't believe my eyes, but Sony have announced that the Venom movie trailer is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, the then movie trailer is coming out, and if you know me, you know how excited I've been to finally see something from that movie, you know, an actual trailer, so I cannot wait to see that. I'm just beyond excited. I really hope it shows Venom, you know, I hope it's not an Eddie Brock trailer. 
because we saw Eddie Brock, IGN released that first look, which I did a video on, and that was great. It was cool to see Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, but, but you know, we want to see Venom. That's what we want. And who knows, if there's any other symbiotes in the movie, I'd like to see them as well, but... So far, only Venom's confirmed, obviously. I don't even know who the villain's gonna be. It seems like the villain's gonna be the Life Foundation, and, uh, you know, the Life Foundation was symbiotes in the comics, but, you know, they might just be using the organization and not trying to set up, you know, Agony, Phage, Scream, Riot, all those symbiotes, Lasher. Um, I really hope that's not the case, though, because I think it would be amazing if... Uh, Venom gets to fight all of those in his movie, although, you know, it might be better to not do that and maybe set that up for a future film, you know, maybe have one symbiote in this one and it sets up uh, a rivalry with the um, Life Foundation later in like Venom 2 or 3 or something. However movies there will be, I have no idea, but I can see, I could see Venom carrying his own trilogy. I, I can definitely see that happening. I think I'll play some Hexagon Blitz in my break. Just a little bit though. If I spend another two-hour lunch lost in the hexagons, <laughs> the boss is gonna blitz me. Come on, Guardians. How long does it take to beat one? Help! There they are. Right. <laughs> Mustache, late for a meeting. Thanks. No problemo. Take that, Kang! Yeah, take that, Kang. What you got? Nothing. So I've made quite a few characters from the Deadpool movie you now. I mean, I've well, the Deadpool universe. I've made, uh, I made Deadpool, which I didn't really try to base on Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool because, you know, his suit has got a lot of detail in it. And I just tried to make a, a Deadpool, basically. Whether it's comic book Deadpool or whatever, it's a Deadpool. I also made Negasonic Teenage Warhead, who I thought came out really good. Um, I tried making a new suit, not the old one. And I also made Colossus, yeah from Deadpool 1. And Colossus looked really good as well. I was quite happy with that one. There might be some new pieces in the character creator though that allow you to make an even better looking Colossus now because of the DLC parts being added, which I absolutely love that they've done that. I mean, I, I honestly think that the DLCs have now increased in value thanks to this update because it means now you buy one of those DLC packs you're getting not only a bunch of characters but also a new level and the ability to mix and match character pieces from the main game with new DLC pieces so you can mix and match Ego with Winter Soldier like I've done here and it's, it's just cool it's just really really cool that they've added that option I was starting to doubt it I'll be honest I was I was starting to doubt that was gonna happen and it was amazing for it to actually happen, so it was great. And Arthur Parsons has teased, you know, he said he doesn't want to get people's hopes up, but he believes when asked, you know, if we're going to see um, all of the DLC parts added eventually, he says he believes that's the case, but he doesn't want to, you know, get everyone's hopes up, which is fair enough. But to be honest, I think I think he's just saying that just to be safe. But I think I think it'll happen. I think we'll get pretty much almost all of the DLC pieces. I mean, there's a few characters, uh, well, at least one character I can think of that that uh, didn't make it into the character customizer. I think it's uh, uh, Moon Girl. Yeah, this one right here, Moon Girl. So. You know, we might not get every single piece, but we'll get a lot of pieces. And just just one extra piece is good enough for me because it just allows you to make even more characters, which is great. Help! Nice. I like that we added the throwing the gun thing. I think that's cool. I think it works. It works real nice. Real nice. But yeah, so hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be able to mix and match, you know, uh, Iron Spider with Ant-Man's new suit, with Wasp, with, uh, with, who, who else, who else is coming? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, with Killmonger, you know, like, we'll be able to mix, match, mix and match all of those characters, hopefully, because that would be great. I hope if we do get um, Iron Spider, in the DLC pack, which I'm pretty sure we will. I hope it comes with a new head, but it's like a glowing eyes one. I'd love to see that. Because then you could try and make like 
Parker Industries Peter or something. Like, that would be kind of interesting. His Spider-Man suit. You wouldn't be able to have the glowing logo on the front, but it would still be a cool idea. Uh, these guys okay? Okay, hang on. Let me uh, jump away and then come back, and then hopefully they'll be all right. Because this is weird. Okay, I'm away, and then come back. I think it's really cool being able to super jump. I think it works. Whoa, you see that? That was weird. Aha, now you're ready. Take that. Let's fight them. Oh, I'm going to pick them up. Pick them up, Cable. Pick them up. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. And then we'll throw them into that. Take that. Nice. Don't mess with Cable. Oh, team up move. Why not? <laughs> Deadpool and Cable. Look at this. Brilliant. <laughs> that was awesome. I've been thinking, you know, lately about the whole Fox and uh, Marvel deal and, uh, well, not Marvel, sorry, Disney, Fox and Disney deal about, you know, the uh, the fact that we might be getting X-Men, Fantastic Four and the MCU someday and stuff. And it's some in it's interesting because Kevin Feige has recently said that uh, he's not thinking about it. He is just focusing on the plan they already have for the MCU. And I really, I'm really glad he said that because... The X-Men and Fantastic Four, they're not characters you can just shoehorn into an already established cinematic universe. So I really appreciate the fact that he's just taking his time, finishing the story he's already got, and then, you know, if the deal is final, which apparently it's not yet, there's still a few things they need to work out, then he can actually start thinking about how he's going to incorporate all those amazing characters. But, despite that, I've been thinking about, you know, how Deadpool is going to join the MCU and things, and it makes me wonder, you know, if it is Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, and he crosses over into the MCU, say, jumps through a portal or whatever in Deadpool 3 or something, does that mean that all of his supporting cast will also join the MCU? Or does that mean that it's just Deadpool by himself? Because the thing is, I think Negasonic Teenage Warhead is amazing. I think Colossus is amazing. And obviously Josh Brolin as Cable is absolutely killing it in that trailer. I mean, he is perfect for that role. I know he's already Thanos, but who cares, you know? Because... By the time Avengers 4's come out, I'm pretty sure Thanos will be no more. <laughs> I mean, he's going to take some beating, of course, you know, but hopefully Carol can give them um, a, a lot of help. Uh, but yeah, by Avengers 4, I'm sure after that film, Thanos will be no more, and Cable being in the MCU w would kind of work, and it wouldn't feel like two, two characters with the same actor. Although, you know, they don't even have the same voice. Like... The Thanos voice is different to Josh Brolin's voice as Cable, if you listen, so it's not even a big deal. They don't even look like each other, so it's honestly no problem at all. I'm sure they could sort it out. But yeah, if there was only two characters, sorry, one character you could save for Deadpool um, to continue on with him into the MCU, it would be Cable. Definitely. I mean, like I said, I love Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and I love this new version of Colossus, but... If there was only one I could pick, I would have to go with Cable, because Josh Brolin's just, he's absolutely done it. I mean, he's made Cable in live action, and that is crazy. He just, he looks like Cable, he's acting like Cable, he's, he's got everything about Cable in him, and it's just, it's brilliant. And I just really don't want that to go to waste. You know, one movie, and then boom, he's, Deadpool's in the MCU, and Cable's gone. But of course, I feel the same way about all the other characters. Because it would be a shame to never see that version of Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Colossus again. There's, like I said, there's a lot to work out for this deal. So when Marvel do decide that they want to start incorporating those characters into the MCU, um, I think there'll be a lot of talks had and we'll eventually find out, you know, what's going to happen with the pre-existing X-Men franchises. I think Deadpool is safe. I think uh, Bob Iger is kind of pretty much confirmed that Deadpool will cross over into the MCU. I'm just wondering about his supporting cast. I don't think the X-Men movies and New Mutants and all that, I don't think that's going to cross over, sadly. Which is a shame, because I'm going to miss Michael Fassbender and uh, James McAvoy's, you know, Professor X and Magneto, because they are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Really, really good casting. What? That didn't do a thing. Are you kidding me? Finally. Nice. All right. Make me mad too. That's why I kicked the butt. <laughs> I love super jumping in this game. Ever since they added that feature to LEGO Marvel's Avengers, it's just one of the most fun things to do in LEGO games now. Just hop around. It's so great. I love it. I mean, LEGO Marvel... No, sorry, not LEGO Marvel. LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. I think that was the first game to add flying characters, flying big figures. Yeah, just flying big figures. And that was like... That blew my mind. I remember seeing that for the first time being like, whoa, big figures can actually right. fly now. That is so cool. And then Lego you. Marvel's Avengers came out and it had um, jumping big figures, which was even cooler. So you could jump around Manhattan as the Hulk and smash stuff up and things. And that was one of the things that people really wanted in the first game and it wasn't there. And then with this one, they've added web swinging big figures. So you can play as like Venom and swing around. I mean, it's so cool. And I'm sure after that Venom movie trailer that comes out tomorrow, I'm sure I'll be playing as Venom a lot in this game. Definitely. Because I love Venom. He's my favorite Spider-Man villain, and I just want the character to be done justice. Even if the, vil the movie is not set in the MCU or not, I really don't care anymore. I just want a good movie. I just want a good movie that uh, does a good representation of my favorite Spider-Man villain. He's just such an awesome character, and there's I, I definitely believe he can carry his own movie. And I think people will see that tomorrow, hopefully. But it depends on what they're going to show. Like I said, it could just be an Eddie Brock trailer. But let's hope not. Let's hope it's Eddie Brock and Venom. Of course, Eddie Brock is a massive part of the character and he's very important. But we all want to see Venom. We, wanna, we all want to see the big teeth and the big eyes and, you know, him scaring people. And the big tongue and everything. All of that has to be there. The logo they released not long ago, though, you know, that gave me hope in the design because it had the eyes, the teeth, and I think it had the tongue, like the big tongue, and and that just kind of made me think, all right, so they are really going all out on this. He's going to have a very comic-accurate look. But, you know, we'll have to see. Anyway, guys, I think that'll do it for this video. I'm just going to head on over to Nueva York, see if there's any crime along the way. If there is, we're going to stop it. But, uh, yeah, this has been a pretty fun video to make. After watching that Deadpool 2 trailer, I just had to try and make Cable. I mean, I know I've already made the classic comic book version, but I really wanted to try and make Josh Brolin's because he just blew me away in that trailer. It, he just... He's absolutely killing it in that role. And I just can't wait to see more from him. I mean, Deadpool 2, I was going to see it anyway. But seeing Cable in it, it just it just increased my hype level to like a thousand. I'm beyond excited for it. I'm not going to fight those bad guys because they're really annoying and they take forever. But if we find some more along the way, I'll take care of them. Think you can beat my record? <laughs> You're welcome to try. Oh, that's a challenge right there. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Nueva York's pretty quiet right now. I should have gave him wall climb and then he'd actually be able to <laughs> grapple onto stuff, but Looks oh well. Like the cybernet is playing up again. <laughs> Every day's great at Alchemax. Just smashing stuff, seeing if it will maybe trigger some enemies to pop up, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna. I keep getting parking tickets. Nope, doesn't seem like any enemies are gonna spawn anytime soon. Oh well, we fought quite a lot in this video anyway. Um, and I think I've showcased pretty much everything the character can do. You know, he can sh uh, shoot like this there we go he can target shoot and he can also throw his weapon and punch and like i've shown you several times in the video he can uh you know super jump very high into the air like this never gets old love seeing that 
And there we go. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.